I think the show is rearing its its end. I wanted to do one last thing, or t- sort of two last things. The Rumble's coming up this weekend, so I should give my predictions, right? So, so far, I'm going to pull up the match card. Um, Royal Rumble 2024 match card. Now, I also want to give my WrestleMania predictions because the road to WrestleMania starts with the Royal Rumble. And so if I'm trying to give my predictions, then I need to tell you who I think is going to win the rumble and why and blah, 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 the Royal rumble predictions. So well, for, let's take it a step back. The, the elimination chamber, right? The rock and Roman are both not on it. I predict that the elimination chamber will be for the world heavyweight title match here. Well, let's hit an X files. We got to hit an X files. Cause we're going to fantasy Mark book. We're going to fantasy Mark book to close out the show. Cause I just wrote some rough ideas here. So I think the, the, the world heavyweight title should be decided at the elimination chamber. Um, and then I think you have Rollins, uh, just challenge punk for the belt and punk wins it. And then he carry, and then, you know, Rollins calls himself the real world champion, all my fantasy mark booking. I think that'd be brilliant. The rumble who wins the rumble. I think the smart thing is you just put, you just have Cody win the goddamn Royal rumble, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say the rock is going to win the fucking Royal rumble. It's going to make a lot of people mad. They're going to turn on him, boo him. Batista style, Blue Tista style, maybe, maybe not. Um, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that because I've fantasy mark booked some matches for WrestleMania just off the top of my head, sitting on the shitter, you know, driving, do whatever I was doing when I wrote these down just throughout just when they popped in my head. And it's things I've said on the show before, but yeah, I think Elimination Chamber, you just have Punk win the belt and then Cody should win the rumble but i think it, it's the rock's gonna win the rumble and then you have um the rock and roman at mania so my wrestlemania you guys can decide what your night one and night two would be i didn't break them up into nights um although i could we could here together but i'll just read you my card my card so far for what i think would make sense for wrestlemania 40 is you have uh roman reigns versus the rock for the wwe title Randy Orton versus Cody Rhodes. That's what you do with Rhodes. You put him in there against Orton. Cody has had like Nakamura attack him and Drew respect him, but attack him. And then he had Brock attack him out of nowhere. But what he's never had is, uh, and like, I don't know how you get there because they're on different shows, but what he's never had was like, Orton was his mentor. Orton's his friend, right? You have Orton turn his back on Cody, maybe flip him heel right before Mania. Or you keep Orton babyface. I don't know, but that would be if I had to pick someone, it would be Rhodes versus versus Orton. If I had to, if Cody Rhodes is getting left out of the Universal Title picture, it's got to be that. So then you have CM Punk versus Seth Rollins. You book Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley in a fight pit with Ken Shamrock as your special referee because he'll be getting inducted in the Hall of Fame this year. I'm more than likely. Um, you have Gunther versus Okada. And the reason why too, is because Brock and Lashley, two MMA guys, legit guys. I think Lashley only ever lost twice. His record was like 15 and two. Um, the fight pit has been done a few times and it's an over concept. It, It works, man. People like it. They've had special refs in them before. They had Daniel Cormier ref the one they had Kurt Angle ref the one in NXT. Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock was in the lion's pit match against Owen Hart and they fought in the dungeon, right? They had a like a, a best of three series type shit and they fought in the the Hart family dungeon and they fought in the lion's pit, which is basically the fight pit. It's literally the same thing. So Ken Shamrock, special refs this one. I think that's brilliant booking right there. And then you get Gunther versus Okada. Gunther goes, I studied everyone on this roster. There's no man on this roster who could defeat me. I proved time and time again. And now I'm here, biggest stage. Challenge me. I demand someone challenge me on this da da da. Okada comes out, beats him. Holy shit. No one sees that shit coming. What the fuck? Their Imperium's beating him up. Okada come, or Nakamura comes out, who started chaos with Okada back in the day. Nakamura comes out, helps Okada. They're fighting against the fucking Imperium until Gunther can pick a spot for his rematch. Maybe he beats Okada in the rematch. And then Okada and Nakamura feud or something. You got it all right there. You got, I think Okada just comes out, beats Gunther, man. It sounds crazy, but trust me. Warrior came back and did that shit. That's how, I don't know. That's how you do it. Um, 
Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. That one's pretty obvious. That's just like your biggest money matchup you can do in pro wrestling. Um, Jimmy Uso versus Jay Uso. That's clearly what's going to happen. Jimmy's really got to turn his shit around, or it could be Jay versus Solo. And I'm honestly willing to say that because especially if you get the rock involved versus Roman, you're going to need Jay or one of these fucking guys to get the rocks back. It would only be natural, right? Big prediction here. Mercedes Monet, Bailey, and Trinity versus Io Sky, Kyrie Sane, and Asuka with Dakota Kai in their corner. That's my big, big, big prediction because Mercedes was tag partners with Bailey and Trinity, reigning tag champs with both. Then you have Io Sky, Kyrie Sane, and Asuka. Uh, Asuka and Sane are clearly going to get those women's tag belts. They it was teased on SmackDown here, and Io Sky has that women's belt. So you come in, you do the three-way at Mania. I think that's the fucking move, man. May you even do some weird shit where all the belts are on the line or something. You could You could get away with it. You know, a, a WrestleMania super whatever. And then you have Mercedes, Trinity, and Bailey all standing in the ring, fucking holding their belts up. That's I'm just going out of prediction. On a on a prediction, wild prediction and saying that one. Um Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kevin Owens versus Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. Just a prediction. I don't know. Austin Theories talk shit about Stone Cold, so is Grayson Waller. And then you have Kevin Owens who fought Austin. Then they have respect for each other. Owens does the stunner. So after that match, they have respect for each other, let's say. Austin doesn't have to bump around and do all this crazy shit. Theory and Waller are good enough, provided they're not doing Spanish flies and shit. Austin can work with these kids. Owens has a mystery tag partner. Stone Cold comes out, just beats the fuck out of Theory. He already doesn't like Theory. Stunned his ass. He already, you know, it just makes sense to me. So I'm going out on a limb and saying that one. Uh, I think we'll get Damian Priest versus Finn Balor. I think that will be a WrestleMania match where the Judgment Day, where you got Dominic and JD flopping around trying to fight, or maybe it's like a Priest and Bad Bunny versus Balor and Dominic with fucking JD bumping around or whatever. I could see something like Priest going, yeah, I called an old friend. I could see him being just out of Judgment Day by WrestleMania. Solo Sokoa needs a big match, a legend to kill, if you will. I wrote Solo Sokoa versus Undertaker. Wrestling solo is just about like eating strikes. They could have a pretty solid match. Why would that match? It doesn't make sense. I'm just being a mark and saying that that's a match that could happen and Solo beats The Undertaker. I don't know. I'm just throwing that at Maybe not. Maybe that's dumb. The rumors are Undertaker's coming back for one more match. Um, or or John Cena versus Solo Sokoa rematch where Cena gets his win back, even though that would be kind of dirty. Um, and then I have LA Knight versus Logan Paul. Why that one? I don't know. I just see LA Knight getting his hands on like a US title at Mania. I think he'll have a Mania moment for like, he'll. I think at Wrestle, whoever has the US, I think we'll see LA Knight ho- hoisting up the US title at WrestleMania. That's that's my prediction. And those are my predictions for the road to WrestleMania leading up. Guys. Oh yeah. Because it's it's near and I'm so hyped for this Royal Rumble, man. I can't tell you guys how hyped I am for this Royal Rumble. I'll post some some polls up on all of the social medias asking you guys what you think and who you think's going to win the Royal Rumble, etc. To go over the card. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Fuck the card. I just I think that uh I gave my predictions and yeah, I think my predictions are out there a little wild, but I'm just talking like the biggest WrestleMania of all time. That's where my brain's going because that's what UFC is doing with UFC 300. And that's what WWE is doing with you with uh, WrestleMania 40, which take place in the same fucking week and endeavors a part of both those shows. And if you guys aren't MMA marks, like, trust me, go look up that like UFC 300s, like, Top to bottom, one of the craziest all-time cards. So, And apparently he has one more fight that's going to come out of left field, too. He hasn't announced. So they're doing the same thing with WrestleMania. I think we're going to see, like, a bunch of shit. Like, this will be – this like, this WrestleMania might be the real last time we see, like, all like Stone Cold, Taker, Cena, all these guys, even if they're just in attendance. But I think the Hall of Fame will be crazy. We're going to get, like, Lex Luger and names that we have been like, they should be in there. I think they're really going to do – Triple H is going to go all balls to the wall because this is his first mania that Triple H is booking himself. 
You know what I mean? Like it's it's him in charge of this mania, him and Nick Khan. So it's going to be phenomenal. And and uh, the road to it starts at the Royal Rumble this weekend. I cannot wait. My liver's quivering at all the tequila and beer I'm going to be drinking. <laughs> Cerveza's daddy that I'm going to be consuming.